We usually recommend that faculty build their grade center right from the start of the semester. Um, that their course should be fully ready before they start and their grade center should also be fully ready before the start of the semester. The reason we do this is because um, on the menu you need to have a link toward the grade book. Um, in our system, Blackboard, it's called My Grades usually. You can call it whatever you want and you can change the name of it, but the tool itself is called My Grades. And we recommend that our instructors put a My Grades link so students can use that information as a project management tool over the course of the semester. It's also a feedback tool and a communication tool. So as a project management tool, you can set it up so that your students can see things in the order they're due, or you can set it up so that students see things according to what they are. All the assignments are in one place, all the discussions are in one place, all the tests are in one place. They can also um, use it as a communication space where you're giving them the feedback. So they can see what their grades are, you can put in your narrative comments, they can see those comments. If they have a question, they can get back to you about them. They can also access their assignment and check into you know, a question they might have. Um, it's an important resource for the students to be successful within your course. So if you plan it from the beginning and you plan it with intent, it will help your students to be successful within your course. Some students will think they're not doing well. Um, they make a lot of assumptions. So they think they're not doing well and they could very easily withdraw from the class because they don't understand how the grade book works or they don't know how to access their grades. Or another student might think that they're doing very, very well um, uh, because they haven't paid attention to criteria. The criteria isn't clear for them. So um, they might not make a change in their behavior that they need to make if they really knew where their grade was. Uh, so I have a link to uh, my grades now right uh, from the, the start of the menu. Um, so students can go in at any point in time and I update it uh, constantly. Um, I took a couple online classes last semester and one professor didn't update our grades at all for maybe six weeks. I had no idea what my grade in the course was. I mean, I assumed it was a good grade. Um, but the other one was up every, you know, within 48 hours. My, you know, I'd submit an assignment within 48 hours. I had feedback. I had a grade. And I just as from the student end, that made me feel so much more comfortable, even knowing I was a good student and I was getting an A in the class. And so uh, I think it's super important that students have all the information available to them before they make important decisions about whether to stay in a class or how much time to spend on their next assignment. I think students don't always understand how percentages are set up and so you know you might have a bunch of informal assessments that are worth very a very small percentage of their overall grade and their you know a midterm exam is worth 25 percent and so um, if they don't have somewhere very cl clearly laid out for them how those percentages work in terms of their overall grade and they're just paying attention to those mini grades as they come in um, they could have a very skewed sense of how they're doing in the class. Another pitfall that often occurs if we don't plan our grade centers out from the start is that students will get information when they click on that link, their My Grades link. When they click on the My Grades link, they'll get information that is inaccurate or confusing. So sometimes what students will see is multiple total columns and they don't know what it means and the numbers in there don't make sense to them or um, there'll be assignments from a previous semester, but you're not using them this semester, but they're still showing up, and things like that. And you'll get a lot of questions, students will be confused, their experience of the course will be distracted, it'll be shifted toward resolving these small, minor logistics problems instead of focusing their energy on wrestling with the content and doing a good job. So as instructors, we wanna plan that area from the start so that we make sure it has everything the students need and nothing that they don't.